Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a scrapbook page similar to this one right here. So let's start with a brand new document. Let's bring in the background. I'm just using the background panel. I'm going to bring in this background. For this Thanksgiving theme I want to use a lot of colors that are more in tune with fall. Uh, so I'm going to use some browns and oranges and, and maybe some reds and yellows. So I'm going to change my colors right here. I'm going to click on the foreground color and it opens up this color picker. And I'm going to pick a brown color. So and as you click down here, that shows you what you had and your new color right there. So I'm going to get a brown color, maybe something like that. Click OK. Then I'm going to click on the background color and I'm going to pick a lighter orange. See something maybe like that. Okay. Okay, now I have my foreground and my background color set. I'm going to make a new layer. Make sure that layer is selected. I'm going to get the brush. I want to put some leaves on the background here. So down here in the brush options panel, I'm going to click right here on this drop down menu and I'm going to pick a brush that looks like a leaf. So as I scroll down here, I'm going to find the one that looks like a leaf and it's right there. So I'm going to click on that brush. Now that brush is selected. I'm going to open the brush settings. Let me show you what some of these do. Spacing will space it apart. You can see right down here what it does. Spacing spaces them apart, but then scatter will scatter them. See how they're in kind of a line right now? Scatter will scatter them randomly around. And then Hue Jitter sets the rate at which the stroke color switches from the foreground to the background color. So I'm going to move that up maybe about halfway or so. About right there. I'll just put all three of them about right there. Now I can start painting. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Command Z or Control Z to undo that. Let's just hit the bracket key. Uh, the right bracket key will make it bigger. And now I will start painting. You can see how they're just scattered around and the colors are different. And the size is different. We'll just scatter some around here. Just something like that. Okay, I like that. Now for a background that's a little bit too bright. So I'm going to just change the opacity of that layer down just to make them subtle. I just want the leaves to be subtle in the background. Maybe about right there. Now I want to lighten up the inside just a little bit. So I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to move it underneath the leaves. And I'm going to come over here to the marquee tool, the rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to feather this just a little bit. Maybe it's somewhere right in there. And now I'm going to look on the uh, rulers up here. And the ruler over here, I'm going to come down to one inch in and one inch down. About right there and then I'm going to click and hold and drag down to the 11 inch mark on the top and the 11 inch mark on the side and let go of it right there now I'm going to fill that with white you can do that by just hitting shift delete or shift and backspace and it brings up the fill color dialog box I'm going to select white and click OK that gives me that white feathered background. But I don't want that to be white either. I'm going to deselect that. Command D or Control D. And now I'm going to lower the opacity of that also. Just make it subtle. Okay, something like that. Okay, let's bring in some type. I'm going to grab this type tool. Let's go with the horizontal type. And I'm just going to type. Thanks. Giving. 
click the check mark bring it over this way now it made that the color of our foreground color that's okay it put it behind the leaves though so let's go ahead and move that up you can do that by clicking and holding the mouse button down on that layer let's drag that up and when that line at the top of layer one gets dark and black and thick just let it go now the type layer is on top of our leaves okay now I want to bring in a picture I have a picture open right here let's bring in this picture Just drag it in, and I'm going to size it. Command T or Control T will bring up the, the handles. These little squares on the corners are called handles. And I can just size it that way. Let's move it up. I want to rotate it just a little bit. See how when I put my cursor up there in the corner, it turns into a double-headed arrow, a curved arrow. That way I can just rotate it just slightly. Let's bring it over a little bit more. Something like that. Maybe a little bit smaller. It's maybe a little too big still. Okay, about like that. Click the check mark to accept that. Okay, now we have room down here that you can do some journaling or, or you can bring in other pictures or something. I'm just going to select the type tool. I'm just going to drag out a box here. This is going to be our bounding box. It's going to hold the type. Maybe up a little bit. Now I've got 14 point type. Let's go ahead and click inside of that and start typing. I'm just typing random letters. You're going to type whatever you need to type. This is just filler type for me to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. I'm going to select all of that because I need to make the leading a lot smaller. You can do that by just coming over here by the leading and see as you hover over the leading word, your cursor turns into a hand with an arrow. Just click and hold the mouse button down. And you can drag it. And that will decrease the leading or increase the leading. And you can do the same thing with tracking, although our tracking looks okay. I'm going to change that to flush left and click OK. Let's actually make that a little bit bigger type. That's hard to see. Let's go back to our type tool. Click in there. Let's make that about, I don't know, let's make it about 18 point type. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's bring our leading down a little bit more. Something like that. Okay. Let's put the year in here. So we'll click the type again. We'll select this vertical type tool. And that way we can just click right here and we can type the year. This year is 2020. Now we need to go bigger on that. Let's change that. I want to go even bigger than 72, so let's go 100 point. Okay, that's good. And that's also the same color, our foreground color. So all our type is the foreground color. I think that's good. Now let's add some layer styles to these so that it gives them a little more three-dimensional look. So I'm going to make sure the Thanksgiving layer is selected. I'm going to come up here under Layer, Layer Style, Style Settings. And I'm going to give this a stroke. And you can see that the black stroke, you could give it a black stroke if you want. I'm going to give it a white stroke. So I'm going to just click on that color right there. Now white, you can hit FFF down here. Or you can just give it 100 in this B. The B stands for brightness. So we'll give it 100. And that's, that's white. Let's make it a little bit smaller than that. Something about like that looks good. Let's give it a drop shadow. That gives it a three-dimensional effect. Let's roll this over so it's coming from the upper left. Let's increase the distance. Okay, so that comes down, down and to the right. Let's 
increase the size that'll make the shadow a little bit softer and we'll increase the opacity i'll make it a little bit darker and i like that so i'm going to click ok now if i want to put that same style on the 2020 i can just hold down the option or the alt on a pc click on that fx and drag it down and that put the same style on that uh, 2020. Now I want to do the same thing with this type. So I'm going to hold down the option or the alt, drag that FX down. Now I don't really like the white around that one, or at least maybe, at least not that big. So I'm going to double click on that FX and let's see if we just make the size smaller if that helps out. Well, either that or we can take it all the way away. Let's go ahead and leave it on just a little bit. Let's put like maybe three. Let's see what that does. Okay, we'll leave it at three. Click OK. And now I want to put that same style around this picture. So I'll hold down my Option or my Alt on a PC and drag that FX down onto that picture. Now I want that white border to be thicker. So I'm just going going to increase this just a little bit okay something like that okay now I want to put a border around this so in order to do that let's make a new layer let's put that layer right on the top and I'm going to get the marquee tool I'm going to take the feather off this time no feather rectangle and I'm going to come in an inch and down an inch the same thing as we did before an inch and an inch and then over to 11 and 11 now I want to give that a stroke so I'm going to come up here and go under edit stroke selection I'm going to give it a stroke I'm not going to use the dark brown I'm going to use a different color maybe Let's get this color right there. So let's click on the color and it opens up the color picker. Now I can come over here into the picture and I can click on his shirt and it changes to that color. And I'm looking at it here that looks like it might be a little bit too dark. I might not want that. Let's see how it is up here on his shoulder. That's a little bit lighter. It's like a darker maroon color. I'm just going to lighten it up just a little bit right here same basic color but a little bit lighter click OK 50 pixels wide that's good click OK and that gives us that border I'm gonna hit command D or control D to deselect that I want the same layer style as I have on the Thanksgiving so I'm going to hold down the option or the alt on a PC and grab that FX and slide it up and that's going to copy the effect to that layer and there you go I'm looking at this and I'm not sure that I like that that's kind of hard to read what we could do with that is let's go ahead and click on that FX let's get rid of that stroke I don't like that stroke. Let's see what a glow will do. Maybe an outer glow. Let's see what that does. Let's click off the drop shadow. That kind of that's kind of lightening up all the way around that type makes it a little bit easier to read what we could do too to make it a little easier to read let's just click OK on that to make that a little easier to read let's go ahead and click on the type let's click in there four times to select everything let's just change the color see if we change the color to 
this same uh, same maroon color so just click on this icon down here we'll open up the color picker and we can get the eyedropper and just click on that that gives us that color back again click OK and click the check mark I like that okay now that we have everything there I think we need to fine-tune some things um, let's click on this Thanksgiving layer up here and I'm just going to use the arrow keys just nudge that over a little bit maybe down I like the way that that shadow comes down over the picture it make, gives it a 3d effect just gonna tab that over just a little bit uh, this 2020 needs to go over let's select that layer I'm just going to move it over just a little bit maybe up just a little bit too now when you move this as you click on the arrow, it moves one pixel. If you hold down the shift and click on the arrow, it moves 10 pixels. So you can move it a lot or just a little. Okay, we're just gonna get it in there about like that. I like that. I want more shadow around this picture. So I'm going to click on that layer, go to the FX, and I'm going to just increase the distance of that shadow you couldn't even hardly see it. I think it's because it was turned at an angle. We'll just increase that something like that. That looks good. Okay, I think I think that's about it. Now you can change things if you want. Everything's on its own layer. So if you decide you want this brighter in the background, click on the white layer. We're at 36%. Just increase. That opacity and it'll get lighter you can take it down more if you want it darker I kind of like it I kind of like it about right there same with the leaves you can increase the opacity or you can make them a lot more subtle by decreasing the opacity you can change it and do whatever you want you can change the colors we use these colors you can use other colors I'm just showing you one way to do things and you can take it and change it however you want to make it your own personal artwork. That's our tutorial for today. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.